Hello everyone, welcome to the Google AdMob Android Studio Java playlist. Now in this playlist, we are going to see how we can use different kind of add units in our Android app. So in the first lesson, we are going to see how we can integrate the AdMob SDK in our Android app. If you don't have a AdMob account, you can go to admob.com and set up your account by creating a, a new account. Okay. So if you have account, you can go to apps.admob.com or admob.com, sign in, then uh, click add app. Here we are in the stage that we are going to create a new admob app. So once you click the create a new app here they are. So you can uh, select your platform as Android. Okay. So here it is asking whether our application is listed in the Google Play or not. If it is not, you can say no. If it is yes, you can uh, say yes and uh, select your app in the next stage. Okay, I will select this as no, then continue. Now, uh, it asking our application name. I am going to say Android AdMob example java all right so we can click this add app so once your application is published in the google play you can link your application with this admob app now i will click done here so the next step will be go to this add units section and then click get started we are going to create our first add unit as a banner ad. So I will select that. Then we will say add format as banner. And uh, usually we can provide something like banner and then application name here. Now create add unit. After doing that, you will see this email implementation instructions button. Click it. You can uh, input your email if you want. Click send email. Once you send the email, you will receive an email with the instruction like this. So you can press on this Google Mobile Add SDK Guide link. Here you will see some dependency code. So we have to put this in our project. So we are going to create our new android studio project click new project i'm going to select the activity as empty activity click next so i'm going to say the application name as admop java the package name as I'm going to say admob example dot java okay click finish all right here our project is ready so we have to wait until our gradle script is uh, finished there okay now you have to make sure this android is selected and in the gradle scripts you will see this build.gradle what you have to do go to there and you have to scroll to the bottom and you will see a section like dependencies so you can go ahead and paste your code inside this which is this implementation com.google.android this one now we can click on this sync now all right so the next step is here you will see it asks us to add this metadata code but we can do copy it and in the manifest folder you will see this android manifest.xml go to it now inside this application tag okay like this you can paste that code as I did here. 
and we had replaced this android colon value as our application id you have go to your admob dashboard then go to app settings here we had to copy this id and paste that here okay that is it so the next step will be you have to create a new java class i'm going to say app or my app whatever so here i'm going to say this extends that means uh, this is going to inherit the application class now inside this braces i'm going to create the method on create okay it is overriding the on create method now inside this what i have to do here as their guideline we have to use this code mobile ads dot initialize so we can copy this thing and paste that here okay now you will see some errors that because you have to import this library com dot google dot android dot gms dot ads dot mobile ads here we can press alt and enter if you are using mac you can press option and return here you can press this import class otherwise you can right click on this click show context actions click import class here you can see this is imported now this one also this one show context actions import class actually the thing is you don't have to specify this thing that means you can remove that argument or you can just keep it okay as you wish okay the next step is open your android manifest.xml and here you will see some application tag so inside it you have to say android colon name equals then say dot the class name that you provided to your new class which is my app or app whatever you have to specify the file name here okay dot my app so uh, that is it here in the next video we are going to see how we can implement a banner ad in our android app all right now i am going to run my application to ensure there are no errors all right here our application is running okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you very much